It's a great day to be alive. Let's get to momming. I'm starting out by making my kiddos some breakfast. I'm using these chocolate chip pancakes that I made in bulk. I froze up a bunch of them and they are coming in such handy, especially during the school week. We usually get to homeschooling right away. So these just make it super easy to pop them in the microwave and be done with it. I try to also make sure something healthy is on the plate. It may not combat all the chocolate chips in those pancakes, but it's good. We're making good progress. <laughs> so I'm adding just a little bitty, what is this mini orange mini tangerine cupids nope there's something others i'm adding those and i'm adding some syrup and some juice and that's pretty much breakfast breakfast is super easy and super simple around here gourmet omelets just aren't happening around here monday through friday they ain't happening over here on the weekend either but definitely not monday through friday i can get through the first part of my day with my eyes closed i basically do anyway because it takes me a whole half of a day to wake up i'm doing all the things in the morning half asleep once i've opened the food cabinet then I make my way over and open the scent cabinet. This is my candle and wax milk cabinet. And usually right after we eat, I'm looking and sniffing, trying to figure out what scents I'm gonna use for the day to keep the fart smell at bay. <laughs> <laughs> my house doesn't smell like a fart first thing in the morning so whatever scent i choose it's an investment for the future fart smells of the day and i know that's not a lot of y'all's most favorite word but i have four little best friends that i'm around 24 7 that are children my vocabulary is that of a child and it's it's pretty much all i can't even blame them it was that of a child before i had children I showed you guys this wax warmer that I found at Walmart a little while back. And I want to show you guys what it's been doing to my bookcase. The edge, it's not wax, but the edge where the color is on the edge, it leaks onto everything. Even the bottom of it has permanently dyed my bookcase. Thankfully, the edge around the top of it, will the stuff that leaks off of it will come off easily with a wipe. But that that's underneath it, that ain't coming up. So I don't know if that's an issue, like a manufacturer issue or what but it has done that for the last I don't know how many times and at first I thought it might have been wax but it's definitely not wax it's like water almost like it looks like food coloring to an extent so I don't know what that is but I did tell you guys about that and told you guys how much I loved it so I wanted to give you that little update after I get the house to smelling good, I start on the neglected dishes. I have been working really hard to keep my dishes at bay because I got new cookware and I really, really want to take care of that cookware. But the night before this was one of them nights where things just got out of hand. It was wild. I barely had time to eat my, I, don't, I didn't even get to eat my whole plate. Things were just happening at a double speed. <laughs> and you, you know, you know, you have those days sometimes. So I didn't want to let it go all day and let the day dishes pile up with the previous days dishes so I tackled the previous day's dishes and then gave myself a clean sink so that I could put the day's dishes in here without getting overwhelmed and doing a ton of dishes later in the evening I just thought I would do two sets of dishes but at least it won't be as overwhelming as doing one big set of dishes also didn't want to risk the spaghetti sauce staining my new cookware so i wanted to get in there and scrub it down real good and get in there with the magic eraser to get any of the red residue off of it before it stained it i don't know if that can actually happen or not but i wasn't taking any chances
I get all of the dishes done from the previous night I get to dirtying up new dishes <laughs> it's time for lunch so I start making the kiddos some lunch I am absolutely butchering this I almost caught an antelope like a deer <laughs> I'm butchering this cantaloupe to pieces but for some reason my motor skills were just not cooperating like they were not cooperating at all so my hands were just slipping inside in every which way I ended up having to quarter it and peel it that way to cut it up but at least we got the daggone thing done I get it now though i get it while we all just want to slap a moon pie on their plate and call it lunch because look at all the effort it takes to be a little just a little bit of healthy like we're not even a whole lot of healthy over here but just the effort it takes to be a little bit of healthy makes you ready for a nap snow is falling down i've been longing for this christmas when everyone's around to share this holiday Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy, but now this year is twice as special cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love in this winter wonderland. Chilling by the fire as I'm trying to get your attention. Giving you a smile, I can seem to look away. Do you believe at this time I was proud of myself for not overloading the washer? <laughs> Looking back now, I'm like, girl, I just want to tell myself, girl, stop. <laughs> I've mentioned a little bit to you guys about the issues we're going through with my dog Binks Howard right now. He's having a lot of allergic reactions to some of his heartworm preventative that we've switched him to. He's now on revolution and it's causing him a lot of skin irritation, but also a lack of appetite. He's losing a lot of weight and all of his blood work is fine. His fecal exams are fine and everything. So I talked with his vet about doing a supplementary kind of diet so supplementing with a raw diet if raw meat bothers you stop watching now i'll put the time stamp on the video on the picture right here to whenever i stop playing in salmonella <laughs> but i talked with his vet about doing a supplementary raw diet and she agreed that it was probably a good idea just to try it out see how his digestive system handles it and stuff like that so i found a recipe for what is called satin balls here on youtube and it's basically a bunch of ingredients that really work on like the nutrients he needs to gain weight protein calcium stuff like that it takes a lot of ground beef if you're doing it for just one dog for a few days and you're not doing it for complete meals but supplementary like me then you would only need like a pound of ground beef but I'm doing a bulk big old batch for the whole month this will last both of my dogs supplementary wise like not as their only food but as an additional food to their already food diet does that make sense it's going to last me a whole month it did it was very very costly but it's worth it if it gives my dogs the nutrients that he they need to, in order to maintain a good weight for their breed i'm leaving the eggshells in here because they add a lot of calcium themselves believe it or not i looked it up and i did like a whole i got a whole degree in culinary dog skills <laughs> before i even attempted this i got his okay from the vet before i attempted this as well because my dogs are 
they it sounds cringy but they are really like my fur babies like they are they mean the world to me banks was there for me before y'all were there for me it was only banks and jesus <laughs> so banks is very very special to me i love my tater too but i wanted to make sure that they were going to be okay with this i will link the very video that i got all this information from down below because if i took you step by step through this it would take four ever and also i don't want to get anything mixed up because when it comes to the health of your dogs and stuff like that i don't play with that just same as i wouldn't play with the health of your kids and spread misinformation or get even the smallest thing getting the smallest thing wrong could really cause an issue with your pets and their digestive system so i'm going to leave a link of the video that i got all the information from this is something called wheat germ by the way i didn't even know it existed until this <laughs> i'm gonna leave that video link down below but i'll also leave a grocery list for all the things Things that I needed underneath that link just in case you want to get an idea of how much it would cost you to do this with your dog like I said raw dog food is not for every dog a lot of people have a lot of mixed emotions on this I had a lot of mixed emotions on this I don't particularly like playing in raw meat raw meat kind of icks me out if I'm being honest so I wasn't too excited to do this and I'll tell you something I wish I had have done that I didn't do I wish I had started with a small batch just to see how they reacted to it. Now, I know now, because this is Future Marina talking to you guys, that it works out really well, and they actually enjoy them, and they've had no digestive issues whatsoever with these yet. But going back I, and looking, I should have really just done a smaller batch to see how it would set with them, kind of. Um, you know, it, the first thing you try might not work out, and I spent a lot of money on this, so I should have really just went small, but you know me, I always gotta go hard. I always gotta go hard, I always gotta go big. I um, in or out so uh, for in short what you would need for this would be some ground hamburger meat some total cereal wheat germ coconut oil salt molasses eggs eggshells and uncooked oatmeal and like i say if you do a bulk thing you're gonna need a whole lot of it but if you want to just try it out i would start very very small i'm not making a good example for that right now because i started very very big but if i could go back i would start small i'm layering these with parchment paper and little tin things that i had left over from thanksgiving i wouldn't have used these if i hadn't already had had them i would have just done it on sheets like i did in my cookies in the last video but because i already had these and it is raw meat i wanted to be extra extra careful so i layered them with parchment paper in these 10 things and then i wrapped them in tin full just so the raw meat wouldn't accidentally get on anything in my freezer once they're completely frozen i then took them out of this and just bagged them up like i did my pancakes the video with the professional that has all the information that i'm talking about that'll be linked down below will will it kind of explain how much your dog will need but for my dogs they'll need two a piece based off of their weight so i'll just pull four out at the beginning of the day let them thaw and give them to them right then two a piece is what i'm using to supplement nutrients that they need so I went to my P.O. box yesterday and you guys have already gone on Christmas cards. <laughs> so I spent yesterday, the better part of yesterday evening and all the way up until I think midnight getting back to Christmas cards y'all have sent this year and Christmas cards you sent last year because I'm wanting to keep up to date on the ones from this year, but I'm also still tackling the ones from last year too. It made me think, uh, we're almost a quarter through, if not already a quarter through December and I have yet to display my Christmas cards and I told y'all that was the one of the biggest things I want to do this year was display all of my Christmas cards from you guys. Now there are better, better I'd say more than 3,500 cards. So I can't display them all at the same time. But what I can do is make a display in my house that's pretty large and then rotate them out. That way I'm getting to show off as many as I possibly can throughout the Christmas season. My Christmas decor is staying up until well into January. Probably, I'll probably take it down late january like the end of january and i usually don't do that but i love my decor so much this year i i don't want to take it down don't want to take it down. i'm not even, i'm not sick of it i know a lot of people thought i was gonna be sick of it because i decorated so early i couldn't be more than the opposite of that like i'm just infatuated <laughs> with my christmas decor so we're gonna make this wall right here where shane's gingerbread is that he made me we're gonna put that on the opposite wall over here behind my chair and we're going to light up that wall like the 4th of July and display all the Christmas cards from my best friends. Well, you know, some Christmas cards from my best friends. I had only received, I think, if I've ever, I'm, I don't remember ever receiving a Christmas card before you guys. But if I have, it's less than five in my whole life. So you can imagine last year just 
I, I was getting them and even the mail person was like floored at the P.O. box. They were like, what in the world? Like it was wild. I never expected to get that many Christmas cards. And I think that's why I was so optimistic about getting back to everybody so fast as I was like, oh, you know, I'll get, I thought there's no way I would get 200. Like that's what I thought. I was like, there's no way 200 people are going to send me Christmas cards. And I was wrong. <laughs> so that's why it's taken me a year to get back. A lot of y'all have graciously, whenever you sent Christmas cards, you sent extra stamps to cover some of the cost of mailing back Christmas cards to others and that that is so thoughtful and it just highlights what an amazing community y'all have it's not a me thing it's it's really a you guys thing it's a Jesus thing a lot of you guys have thought of that whenever you send me cards and you'll be like I know that it gets expensive sending out all these cards here's just some stamps to help cover the cost and it blows me away every time some of y'all have even made homemade cards for me to send out to people so I wouldn't have to buy a bunch of cards. A lot of y'all have sent extra Christmas cards, just blank Christmas cards, so that I could send them out to people. And I, I don't want you guys to do that. I don't want you guys to spend money on me. I don't even like y'all spending money on the stamp. But I can't even tell you how thoughtful that is. Like, that's so generous. Your Christmas cards from last year and this year have just blown me away. They have blown me away. The kindness in there, a lot of you guys have put notes in there that are super long. And I, some of you guys have put pictures and you label the people in the pictures so I can put faces to your family and their names and that is my favorite part is getting to know you by your faces and you taking the time because it y'all some of y'all write like eight page letters and I'm like that they took so much time to to write that out like the least I can do is write back you know like, I know someone mentioned me doing just like a digital Christmas card for everybody that way I'm not spending a lot of money on stamps and Christmas cards and stuff but it's the least I can do. It really is the least. It is the least I can do to send you back a personal Christmas card with my name on it. I don't just sign my name either. Like I always write something in there, either whether it pertains to something you wrote in your card, something you wrote in your letter, um, something that makes me think of you because a lot of you guys include your screen name so I know exactly who you are when I get the card. I don't ever just sign Marina or Fearfully Creative because the least I can do is take the time to make it personal from me to you. Otherwise, it's not a Christmas card, it's a bag on autograph. That's why I wanted to make a point to put these suckers up in my home. That way, when I walk in here and I walk past this part of the house, I look over and I remember the community I have behind me. And I remember how, how generous you guys are and how kind you are and how loyal you are and that is, what that's 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 why i want them up there that's why i want them up there so i'll move my little favorite gingerbread over here that shane painted me over the wall and we're going to get creative i think i've come up with a way i scoured pinterest got some ideas but nothing i really just loved so i took some ideas i got off pinterest got in ross kind of had my brain waves working trying to think up of a creative way to display these cards and i think i've come up with something i'll really like let's see how it goes Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on, shine on. Man, that takes me back to like overall wearing little fillers in the church. Who sang that? Takes me Ooh. back to like uh, Baptist, shiny. Baptist singing. Uh, Baptist oh, singing? beautiful star. Oh, beautiful star. <laughs> shine on. Wait for it. Shine on. Wait, you didn't have the ladies that went shine. No, they, they put everything oh. on that shine on at the end. I had the ladies that went shine on. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on, shine on. <laughs> we're going to put this, we're going to take that down and put, move it to that wall. We're going to put this dead center in the wall up there at the top. I don't know if these little circles are going to hold, but this is the kind that I'm hoping to hang it with. No, higher. Higher, higher, at the very top. Um, did you put the right side on it? Yeah. You read it? Yes. You sure? Yes. You don't pay attention to Let's things like that. Let's see if it works. <gasps> I told you it would work. I was gonna hide that big old cord with the batteries. Well see, we're gonna run the risk of it looking like a Satanist star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smart. Wow, that was using your brain. I do that quite often. 
You just lied right before Christmas. Good thing I already got my presents. <laughs> <laughs> Go get my washi tape because we are going to make the outline of a tree. <laughs> Shane, uh uh, you're gonna have to take this whole thing down. I gave him one job dead center in the wall, and he put it right there. It's not dead center in the wall. It kind of is. Oh, you want it like dead center in the wall? I thought you meant the panel. What? I said the wall. Oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem. Shine. Sure. Well, is it that really big a deal? It is that big a deal. Eat a fart. What are you doing? Get my center. Two, three. Five, five, get five, center. Six, seven, <laughs> <eight>. <laughs> hey, baby. Are you sure you put this on the wall? No, that's not washi tape. Shane, show them what you brought in here for washi tape. I don't know what washi tape is. We got the washi tape up there. Now we're gonna take twine on every single one of them and kind of just hang it so that we can hang something to the clothespins to. And then uh, we're gonna put garland on every other one. So like the top one, the, me the middle one, and the bottom one to kind of festive it up. It's gonna be very lit up and very just like Christmassy. Hey, I like my trunk. Shane's making a tree trunk right now. Look at that trunk. That's the best trunk I've ever seen. Tape <laughs> stuck to the floor. I got my first car. I got my first Christmas card. Oh my gosh, go ahead. I got my first Christmas card. I'm gonna try to fit at least all these. I just randomly picked them, but I had my eye out for red, just because the theme in here is red. But as I go on, like we'll have to switch that up a lot. everything you just saw minus the garland at Hobby Lobby for 50% off. I was so excited to see the little glittery clothespins and the Santa clothespins. I thought I was going to have to go through and paint and glitter all of my clothespins so that to find that Hobby Lobby had them already done for such a good price made my day. I'm going through and just decorating this like an actual tree. So these, I'll put tacks on them mm -hmm. to put them up there, but since this one's going over the battery pack, I'm going to put a command strip on the battery pack itself. Hey, Miss Tanner. <laughs> you leaked my camera. So I... Oh my gosh, that's so smart. What was that? Are those Just my envelopes for my Christmas cards? Empty envelopes. Hey, Shane, you want to cut my toenails later? <laughs> Shane's literally taking envelopes. And making designs on them with washi tape. Thank you. 
this was the most perfect way to display and show off my cards from you guys and also that wall was really dark anyway so adding the lights over there really brightened it up over there went to my P.O. box at the perfect time because I also found stuff like this in there which just blew me away. The, a lot of these were personal from you guys. You guys had even sent me ones that you made. This like is from your area of the world. The gingerbread, just the fact that you thought about how much I love the gingerbread, you personalized the stuff, just blew me away. I so wish I had been filming because the kids' reactions were the best I've ever seen. They just could not get over their names was on that ornament and couldn't get over how sparkly the gingerbread were or the mini gingerbreads or or the sand in the ornament it just was it was one of the best times we've ever had opening up p.o box mail and i just want to thank you guys i never really talk about getting stuff like that because i don't ever want to make it seem like i want to get stuff like that but when you guys think about me it it makes my day it really makes my day so i'll cherish those ornaments on my tree until the day i die i have ornaments from last year on my tree from you guys and they will be on there no matter what theme i use till the day i die i don't care if i go with bright blue one day and you sent me a green one last year or this year it will be on there till the day i die just like i keep these cards they'll be with me for forever shane and i are laying here watching a or a show i'm going to close out this vlog my house oh my gosh that dog food has it smelling like a sulfuric fart in here my nose hairs are singed it is horrible shane opened the freezer to get a pizza out and he was like smell this and it smelled just like it's, it smells nasty like i i remember being a kid and like you know Maybe you're at school or church or your parents or somebody, and they call you slower than molasses. Yeah. So you slow and stinky. I won't say you stinky. <laughs> you stinkier than molasses. I don't know if it's the molasses itself or all the ingredients we added in that dog food, but it has my house. Y'all know how I am about my house. It has to smell good. I can't stand for it to stink. I'm sitting here trying to watch a show with Shane thinking how in the world am I going to get this smell out of this house. It's, that's how bad it is. Like you walk in, we walked out for a little bit and walked in and it just like punches you in the face. Knocks you flat out on your tail. Like that's how bad it is. All the room spray in the world would not take that smell out of here. Like I'm trying to cover it up with the wax melt right now and that ain't even touching it. And I got some pretty strong wax melts. So I got to figure out tomorrow. I'm probably gonna wake up in the morning forgetting what it smells like and it hit me like a freight train all over again. I gotta figure out how in the world to get it out of here. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all had a blessed morning, even not whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see y'all later.